welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories from Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Michelle Martin, president of the Bamboo Project Incorporated. Welcome, Michelle. How are you today? I am wonderful. Thanks Excellent. for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Oh, I'm glad that you're here. And <laughs> yes. it was kind of cool that you're here a little bit early. So yes. you got to see a yes. preview of yes. another show. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The bar was set high, though. Okay. Well, hey. <laughs> so I will try to, try to do my best. significantly high. <laughs> yes, it and is. Every guest meets it. Yes, it is. Meets or exceeds. So before we get started, mm -hmm. you have on a beautiful necklace. Thank you. And I want to hear the story behind the necklace. So the story story behind the necklace, these, this is made of citrine, mm -hmm. um, and uh, which is a crystal that is for communication and clarity, uh, mm -hmm. and my husband had it made for me uh, so that wow. I could sort of carry that around with me, um, and as I, you know, because so much of my work is about uh, communication mm -hmm. and that kind of thing, so that's where it came from. So I tend to wear it for anything that requires me to be a clear communicator. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah, it. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it's thank beautiful. you. Thank you. Well, so I may add that to my collection. There you of, go. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, motivational moments and memories. Yes. And it's really beautiful. Yeah. Plus, of course, I get to carry his love around my neck. Uh, so isn't that nice? <laughs> that's great. Well, in that case, I have to find someone to buy it for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> up exactly. The bar. Exactly. Well, well, tell me a little bit about how you chose your business name because that, that is an unusual business right. name. Right. Yeah. So um, the name came about because I, what I'm really interested in as a business and what my business is about is exploring how you develop resilience. Mm -hmm. um, how do you grow resilience um, and create resilient systems? Um, and so I was looking for a name that would kind of, you know, communicate that to me. And Bamboo Project is is what um, what I came up with. And so. Bamboo, the properties are yeah, the body that, resilient. That, yeah, that they're mm -hmm. um, uh, it's it's can grow just about anywhere. It's mm -hmm. very you know it is a I, I picture it as well. Sort of the now this is not true bamboo, but lucky bamboo. I pictured yes, in yes. Um, the vase, right? Mm -hmm, right. Um, and so part of it too was looking at um, if you. Uh, have bamboo, you know, in this water, and there are stones, so there's kind of earth holding it together. Mm -hmm. There's something that that is holding it, um, making it strong. But then um, also the water that kind of feeds the emotions. There's so much about the work that I do that really is tapping into the emotional side of things. So, mm. yeah. Well, we're going to get into that later. Yes. This is, this is a very intriguing <laughs> lead-in. Yes. So I'll take us back just for a moment. Mm -hmm. What was the significant point in your life or, or moment itself that led you to say, I'm going to be an entrepreneur and I'm going to do this? So I actually did a weekend career retreat with myself. Um, I had, mm -hmm. this was um, in 98, my um, two daughters were young. Mm -hmm. um, I was heading into the summer. I was, I was really unhappy with the work that I was doing. Um, and so I took a weekend and just did a little career retreat with myself mm -hmm. and um, explored what strengths did I want to use, what passions did I really want to be able to explore, how is that going to happen. Um, and by the end of the weekend, I decided that I wanted to work for myself. Um, and mm -hmm. so that was, that was it. I ended up going in and I'm quitting my job. Part of the reason was wow. well, part of the <laughs> 48 reason eight hours. Yeah, well, part of it was that um, a, as many of us do, I was paying. I was going to getting ready to pay a lot in childcare. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, it was going to end up costing us more over the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought, well, you know what? If I'm going to try to do this, let's let's do it now um, mm -hmm. and kind of jump without a net because it forces you to <laughs> to do some things. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's how that that happened initially. Okay. Yeah. So what were some of, that's really intriguing, what were some of the questions that you asked yourself over that weekend? Um, that I asked myself, what were the strengths that I wanted to be using? So what were the, mm -hmm. the um, talents and skills and things that I had that I felt were my strengths? Um, and how did I want to use them in the world? How did mm -hmm. I want to... Um, 
work with people in the world. And one of the things that, and this is true, this this is part of my work now, mm -hmm. um, often um, the structures and systems that we're in are not supportive of the strengths that people mm -hmm. bring to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I was in a system and in, in an organization where that just wasn't happening. So mm -hmm. I was really also thinking about how did I want to structure my life and my work life mm -hmm. in a way that was really going to play to assets. Um, and th that was a big, you know, part of it. Um, I also thought a lot about values and my, mm. my um, personal values and my work values and how could I live a, a work life that was in alignment um, with those kinds of things. Plus, I'm just a really curious person. Um, and so a big part of this summer after I, I um, quit my job, I was doing a ton of reading um, and mm. talking to people that I didn't normally, you know, have a chance to talk with and just really getting a chance to explore my curiosity and that fed me for a long time. Um, it was something that was missing in my work life, but then mm. I had the time and the freedom to, to get into. Very, very powerful. Yeah, yeah. So so how do you take that weekend mm -hmm. and the time with your children and mm -hmm. your family mm -hmm. and really discovering yourself mm -hmm. to creating the Bamboo Project Incorporated? Mm -hmm. And who do you now work with? So, right, I've been doing this mm -hmm. um, for a while, um, and it's a business that has evolved as I have evolved. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I think for a lot of you know self-employed uh, entrepreneurs is it's a reflection of you and what mm -hmm. interests you. Um, and there was a time when I was all about fixing. Um, I was mm -hmm. hired as a consultant. People bring you in because there's a problem that needs to be fixed. Um, and now what I've evolved much more into is um, this idea of instead of being the hero, I need to be the host. Um, Ooh, and so, okay. and it's, that comes from Meg Wheatley. I did not yes, invent yes, that, but yes. I love it. Um, right. And um, so how do I create space for people to find their strengths, to find their inspiration? Mm -hmm. How do we host conversations with people? Because so much of work and life and everything else is about having really meaningful conversations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I get better at asking questions instead of always having to have answers. Um, and so I'm in kind of a transition from um, being, you know, because when you're a consultant type of, of person, um, they want the expert. Uh, right. But the thing is that the change doesn't last, right? Um, you don't need me to be the expert. You need me to host space for you to mm -hmm. find what your transformation is going to be, whether individually or you know organizationally. So I'm really in kind of transition around that, which mm -hmm. also means I'm in transition about who my customers are, sure, um, because sure. you know there are people who want to hire you to you know be the expert. Mm -hmm. um, I do. Um, I have two projects right now that I'm I'm excited about. Um, one is actually supporting entrepreneurship. Um, it's called the Speedy Startup. Um, mm -hmm. And I am working with people who have been unemployed. Um, and I'm also, um, I'm just getting ready to do the speedy startup with the rescue mission of Trenton, working with some mm. men who are ex-offenders um, to help oh, them start wow. their own businesses. Um, and it's very much based on a coaching um, model and also on a lean startup model, mm -hmm. um, the Absolutely. kind of the you know one page business model sure. and how do we experiment and fail fast and learn about all the different elements of our business model mm -hmm. before we get ourselves you know too far down a particular road that may not be profitable. Mm -hmm. um, but part of that process is also realizing the extent to which people's own emotional baggage kind of holds them back, right? Mm -hmm. um, so a huge part of what I do with Speedy Startup is around trying to create a space and an environment and a group, because um, it's group coaching mm -hmm. in large part, um, to help people be able to talk about what are those challenges and how do we hold ourselves back and how do mm -hmm. we you know deal with those kinds of mm -hmm. things i i always say when we get started like this is going to push your buttons like you would not <laughs> believe i mean we don't right, right. you know we think of, of entrepreneurship as just simply kind of a way to you know make money mm -hmm. um but it's not right. um it's and it really first. it is very it, much yeah, about yes, mindset and it's very yes. much about you know kind of that emotional mm -hmm. stuff that goes on so um, that's a project that I'm, I'm working on and, and that I, I'm looking at, you know, how do I expand that and oh, how do I bring that to, to other I've people? Got some, All right, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 
I uh, will help host some <laughs> would love questions that. and I ideas would, for yeah, you. Yeah, I would mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have another project that I'm working on with um, Rutgers University, the Heldrick Center at Rutgers University. They're supporting um, people who have been unemployed for six months or more um, mm -hmm. it, who are it, over the age of 45. Um, they have the second worst long-term unemployment um, situation mm -hmm. in the country. Um, there are a ton of talented, great people mm -hmm. over 45 who have been unemployed for six months, a year, two years. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're looking at how do we provide coaching and other kinds of support to them to help them you know, get back to work. And there, part of what I'm realizing in all of this experience is the extent to which these people have been traumatized yes. by their unemployment. Yes. Um, yes. And so how do we provide them with um, you know, healing mm -hmm. because that's part of what gets you back to work. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's another you know, thing that I'm really kind of wow. looking at is how do we, we do that. And then I, I, the third thing that I have kind of going on is, is around leadership. So I facilitate the Business Leadership Academy for the Delaware County Chamber. Um, but I've also worked with um, another consultant, Rebecca Fabiano, on doing a leadership lab. So I'm really looking at what does leadership look like mm -hmm. if it is done from a place of hosting mm -hmm. um, as opposed to you know, a place of control. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite quotes is Peter Drucker, um, management is doing things right, leadership is doing the right things. Right. And we confuse and conflate management and leadership. And so I'm really thinking about um, if we're talking about leadership, you have to start with, uh, am I doing the right things? And mm -hmm. what does that look like? Mm -hmm. um, and, and so, for whom? Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not so, just me. Exactly. Right. right. Um, so again, back to, yeah. you know, how do you kind of, you know, host the space? I've joked that I see myself as sort of the doula of dreams. So a doula, you know, Ooh, is birth. Um, a birth coach, yes. right? She's helping you. So she's not having the baby for you. Mm -hmm. She's not, she has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. She's just there to s help you give mm -hmm. birth. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really thinking about how do I mm -hmm. create the space for people to kind of give birth for, to amazing things? Mm -hmm. um, and that comes, you know, from within Feel that. Feel free to add significant. Yes, to significant to things. things. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to pull that in. <laughs> Tell me what you have brought with you. So what I brought and is... You can hold it up yes, to the camera will, there. The, what I brought mm -hmm. is... So I'm a big fan of journals and using mm -hmm. journals um, for everything. Um, but And this is one that I started doing that because mm -hmm. I'm really looking at how can I also um, combine visual Definitely and... Definitely um, right. You know, verbal. And mm -hmm. um, so I, I was thinking about pop-up art events and um, kind Ooh. of brainstorming around that. Th wow. This for me is really, so this is also a tool that I'm very interested in. How can you use journals and mm -hmm. art and mm -hmm. art making mm -hmm. to create community, to heal, to mm -hmm. connect to people? Um, because I feel like there's something around those reflective arts that's also Absolutely. really um, important and really connects to that idea of resilience and thriving. Um, and that's what it kind of goes back to for me is I'm always trying to think about how how can I create you know prov help people find the tools and the and the space that helps them you know find their own resilience. Michelle, you are doing significant work, <laughs> Thank uh, you. very exciting work, and Thank I you. love that you took the time to share three very different projects, mm -hmm. but projects that are interrelated, mm -hmm. um, that help others find themselves, bring birth to their mm -hmm. dreams. Mm -hmm. Where can people find you? So they can find me, my website is, um, and it were, it's under construction, okay. but uh, okay. we were making some changes to it, but it's um, bamboo-project.co. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm also, I have a blog at michellemmartin.com, M-I-C-H-E-L-E-M-M-A-R-T-I-N.com. Okay, um, and that's a place where I, I do a lot of writing and reflecting. Oh, excellent. So. Well, I would love to talk with you again offset. I yes. think there are some opportunities for Fantastic. us to partner together. And, um, you know, we have done some work together through yeah. Monica. Yes. So let's continue that. Absolutely. I would love it. Thank you for having me. Sure. This has been Thank great. you. I appreciate Thank you. It. Wonderful conversation. Thank you. And again, folks, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. Our guest today is Michelle Martin. 
president of the Bamboo Project Incorporated, and you can find her on the web. And I look forward to you joining us in our next episode. Thank you.